A general rule of thumb that I've seen passed around a bit is that you should always render your smoke simulations with cycles as it just does it better than Eevee. However, with some simple tweaking and a bit of changes to your render settings and your nodes, you can actually make Eevee renders look decent as it pertains to smoke simulations. And that's what I want to show you in this video. First, start with a good simulation. I'm going to recycle this fancy ring again, cause I haven't made anything cooler since that video. Step 1 is to change some rendering settings under the volumetrics tab. There aren't too many things to concern ourselves with, mainly the tile size, the samples, and shadows. The range in between the start and end values is where the smoke will be displayed, so if you do have problems with it disappearing as you move the camera further away, you may have to increase that end value. The tile size increases the rendered resolution of the volume. Lower values lead to better looking smoke. I usually use a value of 4 pixels in the viewport for the performance and change it to 2 pixels when I render. Keep in mind that a value like 4 pixels probably won't allow for real time playback so you may want to go even higher if you're looking to play it back rather than just look at a single frame. The samples right below that are the most important thing, other than our shadows of course. The higher this value, the more samples will be taken from the simulation and displayed in the viewport, to a maximum of 256 samples. This really helps to smooth out and give your simulation more depth. Don't really worry about the distribution, I found that doesn't really affect things very much. Now the volumetric lighting controls whether light can affect the smoke. You almost always want this to be on because without it, the smoke has basically no depth. Volumetric shadows really make the smoke look good when, of course, volumetric lighting is turned on. If we toggle that on, that allows the smoke to have shadows generated on it and turning up the samples will make it look a lot better. If your smoke isn't very dense, then you'll likely have to increase the density in your shader settings, as the default smoke is usually way too thin to get good shadows when using Eevee. I found that in regards to density, you will need a far higher density to start with, if you want to get that smaller detail in your simulation. If we look at a comparison between Eevee and Cycles, multiplying the density by 4 with this math node, we can see that the EV render looks extremely flat, whereas Cyclist keeps those billows and that volume. To fix this, we need to increase the density in the EV render to about 32, and that gives us something somewhat comparable. Keep in mind that while multiplying the density, you'll also have to multiply anything plugging into the emission or black body settings by a comparable factor for it to show. Let's do some quick talking about lights as well. To get results closer to what Cyclist provides, you'll need more contrast on your lighting, because as we've seen, Eevee's smoke is usually very flat. The first way we can increase this contrast is by increasing the strength of the lights, but that can frequently just pierce through the smoke and make the whole thing lighter, not really giving a desired result. An alternative way is to actually use negative light. About a month ago, CG Matter uploaded this video on his default cube channel, which made me aware that you can actually set a negative value for the wattage of a light source. This can be incredibly helpful with shading smoke, because it means we can actually hand place shadows onto our simulation when it's not acting the way we want it to. Very helpful stuff for making this smoke a little less flat. And that's all I have for this. We can't get true cycles-like results with Eevee, but we can see that this is definitely better than what we started with. If this helped you out, go ahead and like the video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you all for watching, and have a great day.